Hey, I'm Rob. Good to meet you. I help people just like you get certified. So five years ago, I started this channel right here and I figured it was time for me to reintroduce myself to you guys and just give you a little bit of a backstory of where I came from and where I'm at right now. Before I do that, I want to thank every student that is in the Zero to IT Hero program and every student that will join the Zero to IT Hero program. I'm glad that you entrusted me with your IT journey. So once again, I'm Rob. I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan, born and raised. Pretty much all my family is still there. Went to middle school, elementary school, high school, the whole shebang of bang. Everything happened in Detroit. Fun fact, a popular greeting in Detroit is what up though? Meaning what's going on? How are you? Is everything okay? So one of the most popular restaurants in Detroit is Coney Island. So this restaurant has stuff like chili cheese fries, hot dogs, hamburgers, this type of stuff, right? Stuff that'll really stick to your ribs and it's definitely a hometown favorite. So after high school, I stayed in Detroit for a couple years and then I moved out of the state and I haven't lived in Detroit since. So in between that time from about 20 to probably about 22, 23, I had a ridiculous amount of jobs. I was a dishwasher. I was a delivery driver. I uh, worked at a warehouse. I worked at uh, a grocery store. I worked at Subway. I worked um, heating and cooling. I just did a bunch of different jobs. My last stop was the heating and cooling, right? So heating and cooling, if you don't know, it's where you fix ACs, furnaces, this type of stuff. So I did that for about a year and um, it was a hard job, man. You know, getting in attics that's 125, 130 degrees, I'm up there ugh, sweating, out of breath, all types of stuff, right? And one of the, the catalysts, one of the uh, pinnacles in my <laughs> AC repair career was me passing out, right, from heat exhaustion. And that was actually a, um, you know, a life-changing event, believe it or not. Like I didn't um, have a seizure or brain issues or nothing physically happened, but emotionally and personally something happened, right? Because when I passed out in the attic, I called my boss and said, hey man, I passed out, man, I, I don't know what happened. I was out for a while too. And pretty much my boss didn't give a damn. He pretty much, okay, you passed out. Let me go ahead and send you the rest of these jobs. And it was at that point, I knew that I had to do something different, right? I knew that I had to change my life at that point. You know, I was relatively young. I was trying to figure out, okay, what should I do? So two weeks after I passed out in that attic, I was in a army basic training, right? I went to a place called Fort Benning, Georgia to learn how to be a soldier, right? So I was in the army. So fast forward, I was in the army for quite some time. You know, I got um, a pretty good rank. You know, I was moving up the ranks really fast. Um, I was in IT. I um, had a bunch of IT certifications, had a bunch of different jobs in IT. Uh, one of the biggest jobs and one of the biggest learning lessons was when I went to Afghanistan, right? So when I went to Afghanistan, I was actually attached to another unit. That unit didn't have any IT people, nobody, just me. And in that 365 days, I learned more than I have learned in any other time period, I think, because every day I had to learn how to do something new. And I was the only guy. There was nobody else to turn to. There was nobody else to ask. It was just me by myself. And I was learning under fire, like literally under fire. And in those stressful environments, that's when you really, 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 really learn. Cause all of the things that I learned during that time, I never forgot them, never ever forgot them and went on ahead and put that stuff in my tool kit and my tool bag and use that in future positions. So fast forward, I was really, 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 really thinking about getting out the military. Like I was almost dead set on getting out and an assignment came up to teach, right? To teach at 
the um, local school, not at the local school, but pretty much at the school that the troops or the soldiers go to after they get out of basic training and they need to learn their job. Now at the time when I got this assignment, uh, I was a little uh, upset. I was a little discouraged because I did not want to teach. That's a crazy thing, right? Even though you guys know me as an educator, even though you guys know me as you know teaching you stuff, so on and so forth, and that my main focus is education right now, at the time, that was not the case. That wasn't the case at all. I did not want to deal with these kids. Kids meaning people that were a little bit younger than me, most likely, and you know didn't have as much experience as me. Although I had students that were either the same age or even older than me, right? Anyway, fast forward, first class, right? My first class, I'm nervous, a little pissed off, a little hungry, a little sleepy, didn't wanna do it, right? And what ended up happening was, as I started to teach, right? Cause I didn't, to be honest, I didn't really have any structure. I didn't really set anything up. I just was like, okay, I know the material. So let me go ahead and go up here. And me freestyling, me just teaching in a way that I want somebody to teach me. I just saw the light bulbs come on on each student. Boom, boom, boom. The way I was breaking things down in a way that I was actually communicating the information, it was a way for them to understand and I would crack jokes, make fun of stuff, make sure I engage people, just make sure that the whole class from front to back was engaged and everybody learned what they needed to learn, right? So I did that for about two years and then came to a crossroads again. Should I stay in the military or should I get out? Should I stay in the military or should I get out? I decided to get out, I'm done. I think I've done enough. I've served my country. I've done the things I need to do. So let me go ahead and see what's on the outside, right? So once I got out, I once again kind of went through the meal of I want to have a bunch of different jobs in tech, right? So I can build different skill sets in every area of tech. But what the funny thing was I kept on having like a itching or like a feeling like I think I need to go back to education. I think I need to go back to education. I think I need to be teaching people. I think I need to pretty much teach people what I wish somebody would have taught me. I need to be that mentor that I didn't have. And the funny thing was the whole time I'm trying to, you know, work this job or work that job, you know, really good job, high, high paying jobs. I was getting DMs, uh, emails, long lost students, long lost soldiers that was, hey, I'm out. Are you teaching? Hey, I'm out. Are you teaching? And then, you know, some of my old, uh, buddies from the military, if they had companies or if they worked for companies, they were, everybody was pretty much pulling me, teach, 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 teach. So I said, you know what, let me go ahead and try it out. So um, I did a few boot camps, you know, pretty much taught for other uh, schools or other uh, vocational places and stuff like that. I taught for some colleges and then I landed uh, one spot that I stayed at for the longest. So it was a school, a vocational school, and I was teaching. Rocking out, doing my thing, boom, boom, boom. But I was kind of noticing one, 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 one big thing that um, a lot of the students, one, weren't getting anything when they finished the program, two, the program was uh, upwards of $20,000, and three, I didn't really feel good being there, right? Because I don't have anything in my life, anything in my business, I don't want to attach myself to anything that I don't really believe in right and once i kind of noticed that okay there's a lot of people coming through these doors but there's not a lot of people coming out with certifications with jobs if they do have jobs it was some jobs that i could have got anyway right so once i found that out once i figured that out i just made a plan and well i didn't make a plan really and i don't advise anybody to do this once i once in my mind once i felt like okay this is kind of a scam this is kind of not benefiting the students um even though you know people are grown people are adults uh, they need to do their due diligence to see blah, blah blah but once i saw the bigger picture i just said yeah i gotta get out of here man so without any plan without any backup i quit i don't <laughs> recommend you do that but i quit just over with no job lined up, no plans, but I did know this. For one, I was not about to go work for another school, and two, that I could do this myself. I said if this school can charge people $30,000 for, uh, for lack of a better word, uh, some BS, right? Just something that just doesn't work, something that is just useless. You wasted your time, your money, and then the school that I was working with, there were veterans, right? 
and me being a veteran you know i got a little bit of a soft spot for uh, fellow vets veterans sometimes get like benefits right where if you serve them on a, a certain amount of time if you've done certain things they'll help you pay for your school to get certificates to get degrees so on and so forth and a lot of these guys and girls were wasting their benefits on this school so i said hey man let me try it on my own for a year let me see how it works out let me uh, make it affordable let me make pretty much do what they're doing in my way and a way that's going to actually benefit the students boom five years ago uh, the zero to it hero and this channel program was created and the first month i might have got one or two students or zero it was either it was zero to it was like zero to maybe two people right and i was given an immense amount of value, an immense amount of training for damn near nothing. I think my, my, the first program was maybe $20, but that was also a lack of belief on my part. I had never done this before. I had never ran a business. I didn't know anybody that had a damn business. And it's like, damn, why would people enroll in this? Like, damn, they don't know who I am. But anyway, I kept on creating content i kept on improving the program kept on creating content and slowly but surely uh, update to today 2023 today every day we get at least 50 applications every day. 50 applications a day now five years ago i couldn't sell this program to nobody i couldn't get us i can get us away now it's hard for me to even keep up with the amount of applicants that are in the program. Oh, I skipped uh, some stuff. So along the way, me being in the military, me getting out, so on and so forth, I myself amassed a bunch of certifications, right? So as of right now, I have 10 plus IT certifications. I also have my master's in IT as well. So. With all that being said, this channel right here was born to help you guys. Uh, we're almost 700 videos deep um, on uh, YouTube and I'm gonna continue to uh, pump out more and more and more videos. Now, there's a couple different ways that I help people, right? One, of course, these are free YouTube videos, right? And that is for the people that may not know who I am, may not know what I do, may not be familiar with the certifications that I offer, or um, the people that may not be financially equipped to move to the next uh, step or to the next spot, right? So pretty much that's what the YouTube channel is for, to provide value and to give people an overview of what I do while helping them get to where they wanna get to. The second level or the second step would be the channel members, right? So channel members, you can go ahead and click join below just to see, you don't have to join, no, um, no pressure, but you can click join and it'll kind of show you an overview of what channel members get, right? Depending on your level, you get a private chats, a coaching call, monthly coaching calls, and you get priority to joining our training programs, right? The next level would be one-on-one -on -one coaching, right? So I have um, a lot of one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching clients, and if we have availability, also in the description, you should, or you could, uh, hop on the calendar and we can figure out where you are now and then get you to where you wanna be. But the pinnacle, the top of the top, the way that I help most people and the thing that'll be most beneficial for you and anybody else that watched this channel is to join the Zero to IT Hero program. The application is in the description below. In that program, you can transition into IT in as little as 90 days. In that program, most students get their first IT certification in only two weeks. That means you enroll today, 14 days later, boom, you are certified. Now, if you wanna get an overview, if you kinda of wanna see, okay, what does that mean? What does that look like? Hit the description below, uh, itmasterkey.com will give you a full breakdown of that stuff. So I hope that this kind of clarified and kind of gave you a better picture of who I am, what Master IT is, and what we can do to help you. Other than that, I'll see you in class.